Hi there, let's learn the passive in Dutch. How do you use the passive in Dutch and how do you form it? Let's start with how to form it. In English, the passive voice is like this. I write a book and a book is written. Let's see some other forms here. I am writing a book, a book is being written, uh, I wrote a book, a book was written, uh, I've written a book, a, vo a book has been written, and a last one, uh, I uh, had written a book, uh, a book had been written. How do you translate all these things into Dutch? Well, let's start with the first one. I write a book, ik schrijf een boek. All right, and in the passive, a book is written. Een boek wordt geschreven. And there you see, uh, we use the, the verb worden and geschreven, the participle, and not zijn, not to be, as in English. Hmm? Dus, uh, a book is written, een boek wordt geschreven. All right. Uh, how do you translate the present continuous? Uh, a book is being written. Well, actually, in Dutch, we use the same. A book wordt geschreven. Because there, uh, you already stress that a book is being written. That right now, a book is being written. Uh, so we don't have a way to translate this present continuous in Dutch. All right, let's go to the next one. I wrote a book. A book was written. Ik schreef een boek. And the past tense of worden. Een boek werd geschreven. And the werd is the past tense of worden. Do not use was, because we're going to see it uh, just in a few moments to translate something else in the passive voice. Uh, all right, next one. I've written. A book has been written. How do you translate that? Uh, ik heb een boek geschreven. Een boek is geschreven. So this is already done. If you say een boek is geschreven, it means it's not now anymore. It's done. The book has been written. I mean, uh, they're not writing it right now. No, it has been written. And this is different from the English language. So uh, pay attention to this. A book is geschreven. A book has been written. All right. And now we go to the had been written. So that's for the past uh, perfect. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I had written. A book had been written. And there we're going to use the past tense of to be. Een boek was geschreven. All right, let's sum it up a little bit to see where, where's worden and where's, where's werden. So uh, you can see it there. Is written, we say, wordt geschreven. Is, just like is being written. That is ook, uh, that's also, uh, wordt geschreven. Uh, was written is werd geschreven, uh, has been written, uh, is geschreven, and uh, had been written, was geschreven. So you see there, it's kind of confusing because in English is geschreven, uh, is written becomes uh, wordt geschreven, and uh, has been written is, in Dutch, is geschreven. And this is the main uh, mistake English-speaking students make uh, when using the passive voice. All right, and how do we use this passive voice? Well, the passive voice isn't really a nice way because, as you can see, it makes the sentence longer and less active. So um, it is recommended not to use this passive voice, only to know it uh, you know, uh, passively, <laughs> not actively. Uh, all right, uh, but when do we do uh, use it? Well, if you want to stress uh, the object and not the subject of the sentence. For example, we've seen 
een boek wordt geschreven. Uh, here you want to put the stress at the book, not uh, you, want, you don't want to put the stress uh, on the person that's writing the book. Maybe I'm writing a book, then you could say een boek wordt door mij geschreven. En door mij is by me. So the door means by in the passive uh, construction, in the passive in a passive sentence. Uh, and there, I'm less important than the book itself. Also, you can use it in, um, if you want to suggest something, if you want to say something diplomatically. Uh, and we're going to see a few more conjugations of the passive uh, here. Um, if you're using a modal verb, then uh, it goes like this. For example, the book has to be written. Het boek moet worden geschreven. So there you have the moet and the worden. Uh, you add it there. And uh, if you say het boek moet worden geschreven, then you're diplomatically saying, well, someone has to write the book. And you're suggesting you're not going to do it yourself. So it's one of the uses of the, uh, the Dutch language. And uh, to finish this uh, lesson, if you want to talk about the future, uh, the book will be written, and it's the same as with this moet. Het boek zal worden geschreven. So, het boek zal worden geschreven, or het boek gaat worden geschreven. The book will be uh, written. Good, so do not forget, uh, is geschreven uh, means has been written and wordt geschreven means is written and also don't forget to use the door as a way to express the by the subject of the sentence the person who's actually doing the thing in the sentence all right this question was asked by b haki if you have any other questions feel free to ask them in the comments and maybe it will be the subject of the next video tot ziens!